Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Raccoon, I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. 
You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route to our first target. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle.
large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues in bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. shot.
You can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues.
this one together. Try 227. Interesting. Old Sal and Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. the vault, but you need more clues. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in 436. of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder... Yes! I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. Why? See that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Temperatures reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine.
instructions to open it. Rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Thank <laughs> you. 
The answer was simple. Dial in 242. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus! This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way up to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it's? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. Thank <laughs> you. 
Interesting! Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action.
Sly, this is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sunken treasure. Use your sub to blast them. The left analog stick controls the sub. Give it a try. Great. Use the right analog stick to fire its gun. Uh-huh, that's it. Remember, you can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. To earn a treasure key, you'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a tube. Oh, delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado... Let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are! Bring it on. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You'll see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. The city was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Thank <laughs> you. 
with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper.
Shot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Let's do it, Sly. No! Hey! Oh no! Come <laughs> on. 
nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. <laughs>
Decipher of these codes. Dial three three eight. Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs! Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick, and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them! I'm on it!
Way to go, Murray. never smash that thick glass. You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecky ball up there. See those neon tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you could pull it off.
of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in 468. Okay, this page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it.
mierda. in a jewel case somewhere near Mugshot's penthouse. Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. Thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five three two. You found the blueprints for mugshots additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your binocucom to get the information.
gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. Look at that ugly mug. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it.
this code in my sleep. The combination is 565. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and... And this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick! Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know, that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! gun is destroyed! <laughs> Good thing I got a spare upstairs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't wanna be you. Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from icky slime and moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it.
my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Eight. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. You've done it! The Mojo Force Field is down and you can steal the key! My Parador 
normal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Claustrophobic. Whoa! Did you see those reeds move? There's something huge under there! You better get going!
some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. <laughs> ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Coop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binoculum. Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. 
my paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Now that was very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash them all, you'd be safe. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, this is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. is by lighting all 25 Tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swap skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit.
giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. seems to be outfitted with some sort of high-energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move, and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another.
my god, the green waterfall overflowing of bones and body parts. I'm telling you, the health department's going to come down big time on this dope.
Security! This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup! before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be 571. Mind bending. It's Matthew de la Coupe's perpetual slow motion technique. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it.
With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toting roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into Ms. Ruby's Skull Temple. Vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flap! See you in the next world, Slack Hooper! Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well... I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? 
Sounds easy enough. Certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out! The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on... The Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art, but when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The fetish five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Huh? 
Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Thank <laughs> you. 
Huckleberry Cooper developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. top of that giant statue, but unfortunately it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. Try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Combination has got to be six, six, seven. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Sly, this 
pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. I'm going in, Sly. No! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. calculated the trajectory of these rockets and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Hmm. 
What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. What are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, Hey Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. We could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boosts you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. Driving, Murray. Now, go get that key.
freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. vessels burst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be 231. You found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom.
watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. Carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you... You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. <laughs> Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Fiery... Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fire! Booming chop! Booming chop! Palms of thunder! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <coughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatov volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here!
Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, it won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Murray, there are only 119 computers up there, and these fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us. The first one to 60 computers wins!
them is the control room to Clockwork's Death Ray Tower. I think it's time for some Cooper thieving and sabotage, don't you think, Sly? Careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby-trapped! You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Cooper, I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I use the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh, well, looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley.
no code can stand before me. Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Mm, Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until Clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ray. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Nice job, Raccoon. Where's Carmelita's jetpack right where she said it would be? The magnetronic support field for the death ray got destroyed as you were making a run for your cane. You'd better hurry, this whole thing is about to fall apart. I'm on it. Fast! Climb, Sly, climb! 
that jetpack is easy to fly. Use the left analog stick to aim and steer, and press the square button to fire its rockets. Sly! Behind you! Sly Cooper, you have escaped my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. You Coopers always find a way to beat me. Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the Thievius Raccoonus. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting a day when I would finally eclipse your family's thieving reputation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. Then the Cooper line will be erased and the only master thief will be clockwork. You can't dodge me forever. You cannot escape me, Cooper Raccoon. tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's Claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five, Raleigh, 
Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, One. I felt bad leaving her stranded on a giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Thievius Raccoonus isn't fully restored. You're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us! いやー、危なかった。ま、カルマリータちゃんには悪いけど、今回も俺様たちの勝ちだ。このデータファイルがあれば、父ちゃんの仇が打て。あれはまだ俺が子供の頃だ。よく父ちゃんの膝の上で遊んでたっけ。俺様の一族は代々伝わる義族の家系。そして受け継がれた技をまとめたのがこのラクーナの名称。その洗練を極めた忍びの技。だ
Versed in chaos theory, otherwise this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. Amazing! Colonel Reed Cooper's Time Stopper technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. At long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the Fiendish Five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is going to be fun.